coming into this, I was smartened up that people would always, you know, throw rocks at you, and, 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 and they have no business throwing rocks, you know, especially when it's these little... Uh, little dorky keyboard punching non vagina getting losers that have not had vagina since vagina had them and um going with that all they do is sit there I, I can see it right now what they look like they've got their glasses on they're probably this thick they're probably this tall they're probably this fat they're probably have doritos in one bag eaten and the other hand on the keyboard going mac morgan typical squash big man match period and I'm like, who the fuck are you to say who's got a typical squash match and who doesn't? You know, you don't know fuck all to begin with to even start this conversation about wrestling, let alone discuss mine or even somebody like Hunter's or somebody like Kirkishi's or somebody that's actually been there and done a few things in this business. You got no business commenting on it unless you've been doing it for a certain amount of time. Dave Meltzer's somebody who's been doing it for a certain amount of time, who's, whose opinion that I'll always tell people, okay, he knows what he's talking about. There's a, certain, there's a few guys that do. Very few. Problem is, is the overexposure of the internet. So now any Joe Blow could get their own radio show and do whatever and talk about whatever in the hell they want and kill, just because they don't like somebody, they can kill them off immediately on the internet and there's 50,000 readers that read that. So it causes, in my opinion, other wrestlers, which I don't like doing, is go out and have your own website, stick up for yourself, do interviews on your own website, so people get to know you better. Because when I was in WWE, people didn't get to know me that well. They knew me as some powerbomb, ass-kicking, shit-kicking, giant, stoic motherfucker that stuttered his second time around. That ain't me. People doesn't, I bet you didn't know this. I graduated fifth of my class with a communications degree in public speaking. Probably didn't know that. Going with this promo, you're going to know that. But... You know what I mean? You know what I mean by that? They, the peep, they, they're not going to put that on the computer. All they're going to care about is what my match looked like. And they don't even have the... They don't even have the intelligence or the background to be able to judge on what a typical squash big man match is or a typical cruiserweight match. Is. They have no business. It gets me hot thinking about it right now, if you can't tell. It, it irks me because these people don't have an athletic bone in their body. I have more athleticism in my cock than they do with their entire body. And that's a shoot. That's an honest-to-God truth. I'll put my life on that. I'm a dual-sport athlete, you know, all through high school, all through college. I know I am an athlete. So for someone else to sit there, it, and when I played ball in school, people might throw pot shots, but these were reporters that have pedigree who have earned their right to do that. They write for USA Today. They write for Sports Illustrated. I have no beef with that. Rick O'Reilly from, from Sports Illustrated can say whatever the fuck he wants because he's done it before. But to have, I don't know these guys' names. I, couldn't even, I wish I could bury their names for you, but I can't. I don't even know their names. I don't read it because I think it's all shit. You know, but like, you know, my wife will tell me from here and there, or my friends will tell me, this guy said this, this guy said this. That's why I don't bother reading it. That's why they're called the fucking dirt sheets, and that's why they're dirty, disgusting, just disgusting, gross, bottom feeding assholes.